Baby Shark. Okay, I'm not going to do that to you. <laughs> this is Studio Series 86 Gnaw. One of the ravenous Sharktacons, this deluxe class representation was released in 2021. And interestingly enough, features a new symbol for his Quintesson Masters. Anyway, the figure itself is pretty interesting. It feels like a Flow Roderi design will truly get in form, as opposed to just being filtered through the lens of 1986 toy limitations. Paint app and articulation wise, this guy is exactly what you expect from the Studio Series line, and it's fantastic. Though many of the joints feel a little on the loose side for me. That being said, I'm still really digging this, especially considering this is the first ever Sharktacon I've gotten. I somehow missed out on both the Titans Return and Cyberverse versions. Before this, the closest version of Sharktacon I ever got was from Energon, and that hardly counts. For accessories, he comes with two weapons. His tail mace, a nice chunky thing molded in blue plastic, though sadly it only features a single joint, and his blaster, which is an interesting inclusion as none of the Shark Cons ever wielded these in the show or movie. Transformation is a unique process. I'm not sure I've ever messed with a bot quite like this before. And that being said, it's not hard or tricky, quite the opposite in fact. I was able to intuit the design very easily, all while not getting bored with it. After you finish swinging and folding everything into place, you need to attach the weapons and you have them in his mechanical shark monster form. And let me tell you, I love how this looks. It really feels like it just walked off the screen. It has all the right details and paint apps. The only thing I don't like is that it feels like his hind legs are just a little too far back. I almost wonder if there was originally supposed to be an armature that moved them forward more and just got budgeted out. That being said, he has decent articulation in this form, with his legs and arms having great movement, and more importantly, his mouth can open and close. But you can see his face if you flip the bot upside down. That's a little weird. But other than that, this guy is great. A perfect little munchy monster to dispense a mockery of justice with. <laughs>